Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be shedding light on the benefits appertaining to learning new information. So what are some of the ample benefits appertaining to learning new information? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. The benefits appertaining to learning new information are multitudinous and eminently extensive. They extend far beyond the ambit of just keeping your cognitive faculties sharp. You want to be able to have mental prowess. You want to be able to have profound mental acuity. You never want your mind to atrophy, nor wane, nor degrade. You always want your mind to be in top form, metaphorically speaking. So, one benefit associated with learning new information is that it allows you to accrue more knowledge. If the new information you are learning is retained in the bowels of your mind, when you studiously study new topics, when you attempt to assimilate information into the chasms of your mind, you want to instantiate that information in the bowels of your mind, solidify that information in the bowels of your mind, and render it retentive. You also want to be able to apply that information. That information is devoid of utility if it provides no practical, no pragmatic application, then it will be all the more apt, all the more poised to elude you. If you want to be able to retain the information and convert it into knowledge, then it needs to have a practical, pragmatic application. Learning is conducive to accruing knowledge. Learning is conducive to building your knowledge base. You want your knowledge base to be vast. The more knowledge that you can draw from, the more apt you are to reach your higher aspirations and achieve your overarching goals, especially if your knowledge base has a wealth of pragmatic, practical knowledge that you can leverage to your advantage. Another benefit appertaining to learning new information is that it is conducive to increasing your core competencies. You want your core competencies to be extensive. You do not want them to be scant, nor lackluster, nor meager, nor infinitesimal. The more competent you are, the more successful you can be. You want to be able to manifest the quintessential version of yourself into reality. You want to be able to actualize your latent potential. You want to be able to reach your overarching goals and reach your higher aspirations. You never want to stagnate. You never want to regress. You never want to be impeded, stymied, stifled, nor encumbered, nor obstructed. Do everything in your purview to expand your knowledge base and to amplify your core competencies. It will redound to your benefit. You want to become a highly knowledgeable, highly competent, highly adept, highly reputable, highly revered, and highly trustworthy industry expert in your niche field of expertise. Do not shirk on doing so. Do not neglect to do so. Become the quintessential version of yourself. Do not settle for subpar, insipid mediocrity. It is unsavory to be complacent with not actualizing your latent potential. It is almost unpalatable metaphorically speaking. Another benefit appertaining to learning new information is that it allows you to expand your repertoire. It allows you to acquire new skill sets. The information that you are learning is 
practical, pragmatic, and will provide you with utility in the future if you convert it into knowledge and are able to subsequently apply it in real-world contexts. You have to be amenable to learning new information if you want to be able to expand your repertoire. You want to become highly skilled, highly adept, highly competent, highly knowledgeable, highly reputable, highly revered, highly renowned, and highly trustworthy as an industry expert in your niche field of expertise. Embrace being an autodidact. Embrace being a perpetual lifelong learner. You also want to perpetually learn new information so that your cognitive faculties are all the less apt to rapidly degrade. You do not want your cognitive faculties to wither away. You do not want them to decline. You never want them to be in arrears, metaphorically speaking. You want to be able to maintain your mental acuity. You want to remain mentally sharp. Learning provides you with mental stimuli. You need to be able to stimulate your cognitive faculties. So, Take heed of learning new information and learn new information that is practical, pragmatic, and that will provide you with utility in the future. If you can convert practical information into practical knowledge, it can redound to your benefit. You can have knowledge of how to perform tasks. You can have knowledge of complex, convoluted, intricate subjects. Fortunately, learning new information can be conducive to amplifying your knowledge base, expanding your repertoire, and amplifying your competencies as long as that knowledge is practical and pragmatic and can be provided and can be leveraged in real world contexts. Lamentably, most people are reticent about being autodidacts. They are disinclined to learn. They are deterred to perpetually learn. Contrary to what they believe in spite of what they have erroneously been indoctrinated to believe, their mind craves knowledge. People, however, do not want to deal with a Brobdingnagian behemoth of a colossal challenge to learn new information. It's easier to just engage in gormless, asinine, self-indulgent activities than it is to stimulate your cognitive faculties and assimilate new knowledge and instantiate the information in your mind and attempt to convert this newly found information into knowledge. You want to be able to solidify the new information 
in the bowels of your mind. You want to be able to render it retentive. You want to be able to have this new information pervade your neurons. You want to be able to retain it for a lifetime. If the information is not converted into knowledge, then learning becomes an exercise of futility. If it provides you with no long-term knowledge, then learning is a sheer and utter waste of time. So make sure that when you learn new information, you're able to retain it. You need to be able to render it retentive. You need to be able to embed it in your neurons so that it does not elude you and perish from the bowels of your mind. If you are unable to do that, if you are unsuccessful at embedding the new information in your neurons, then it will not bequeath you with knowledge. Just remember to assimilate the new information into the bowels of your mind, instantiate instances of it being applied in the chasms of your mind, solidify it in the chasms of your mind. You can cogitate over the new information. You can meticulously analyze it. You want to be able to embed it in your neurons. And you can associate it with your previous experiences. Once the knowledge, once the new information has been embedded in your neurons, then it can be subsequently converted into lifelong knowledge as long as it does not elude you and perish from the chasms of your mind. Hopefully, this newly found knowledge that you attain can provide you with utility for decades to come as long as you allow it to remain active in the chasms of your mind even if it's dormant it can still be accessed in the future render the knowledge accessible do not allow the knowledge to just perish from the bowels of your mind you do not want to lose it. You want to be able to retain it and render it retentive. Render new information retentive so that the time that you depleted, that you exhausted, that you forfeited to learn new information does not become an exercise of sheer and utter vanity nor futility. Not mismanage your time by blithely engaging in nugatory, unavailing, futile pursuits. Allocate your time prudently. Allocate your time shrewdly efficaciously manage your time. If you're going to spend time learning new information, then make sure you convert it into knowledge. And do not relent on doing so until it is converted into knowledge. You do not want your study sessions, your learning sessions, to be exercises of sheer and utter unalloyed vanity. You want to have as much knowledge as you can attain so that you have more knowledge to draw from in the future. I make sure that the new information that you are studying, that you are attempting to convert into knowledge is practical, pragmatic, worthwhile, and has tremendous utility. If it has, if it has a niche, narrow application, if it's devoid of utility, if it's not 
pragmatic, if it's not practical, then do not squander, do not fritter away, do not hemorrhage your sacrosanct, indispensable, finite, precious, invaluable time learning useless, worthless information. I hope that you found this video to be insightful as well as enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.